guys, welcome to the video. Well, it's not looking all that bad. It rained all night. All I heard was rain overnight. Everything's soaking wet, but this morning I can see patches of blue. We've got an easterly blowing. It's not all that strong yet. Side current off to the right, but I am going to put a bait in. I got one of those grappling hooks this morning. Um, we'll see if it holds bottom. I've got some Taylor. Taylor I caught a few episodes ago. I'm going to use some fillets for bait. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how we go. It's not too bad. I've got the rain jacket, so I am expecting rain. But uh, let's go. Let's get stuck in. All right, I've got the ready-made surf ring again. Still rigged up from the last one. I'm going to use it again. Why not? It got me a beautiful gummy last time. So um, certainly give it a go. I've re-rigged it since because the, the line was frayed. So I've got a new dropper. I put a circle hook on the top. That's a 4 row circle hook. I'm going, to, I'm going to leave the small Kirby down here. And with the grappling, let's hope she holds bottom. We'll get a bait in there. Sun's about to show itself. Could be alright this morning. It's still pretty frozen, this Taylor. And I'll see if I can carve a couple of fillets off. Which I might just soak it in the water for a bit. You don't often see him in here this close. Let's get the bait in. See how it goes. I'm not confident. Going on here. Oh, I think there's weed in the water too. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Already weed on the line. Whoa, it is a it is a rising tide too, we're about halfway through the rise. Nah, this is not going to work. Ah, loads of weed. That's it. It's over. Look at it all along the line. And this is the bad stuff now. Once again, this is that really fine stuff. It just totally clogs up the tip guide and you can barely wind it in.
Well, you got to try, don't you? See you tomorrow, guys. Got a wallaby in front of me. Hey, buddy. He's off in the bush. He must live in there. <laughs> well, it's not tomorrow, but it is about six hours later. Um, this morning it was midway through the rising tide. Uh, at the moment it's uh, well, a bit over midway into the dropping tide. I think it's uh, a couple of hours for low tide. Yeah. I got bored, I thought I'd nick down here and have a look at the weed situation. Doesn't look all that bad actually. I'm gonna try out my new lure been on my mind. <laughs> it's definitely worth the cast. Spotted a bit of weed in there but got this little gutter in here close. You can see where the sandbar is out there and some darker stuff in close right here. Could be worth a flick. deep section of channel right in close here, I might just swim it through that. You can see it's got sandy here, but it's just like a sort of little deep hole just here. I didn't notice that at high tide, but you can really, it really stands out here now. So I'll cast diagonally across it and, and just swim it through the channel a bit. Yeah, just like that. Never found pippies on this beach. They are live pippies. I just thought there's another one up here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gone, he got away. <laughs> Quite a few of them here. I'm going to collect some. I'll give the lure a break for a minute. Right there. I'm going to gather some of these pippies. Oh, here's one. There's a couple actually. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. I got him. Oh, he's a good size one, that one. Haha, they're going to be good bait. There's another one. That one's just a shell. You've got to be quick because uh, they try and bury themselves. There, I 
one, that's six. Yeah, I'm happy to get a bag of these. They make really nice bait. <laughs> Looks like low tide does have something to offer. <laughs> I've only ever found one pippy, and that was years ago. It was a big one, it was huge. And it was just like that on the sand, but I haven't been able to find them since. Low tide could be the, the trick. Here's one. They seem to be around this deep hole that I was telling you about. Oh, look, look, look. Ooh. Yeah, another two. Oh, look, there's one, there's one. <laughs> oh, look at this one. <laughs> gotcha. Right there. Another one. Uh, one here, I think. Oh look here, here. Look. Him. Oh that one nearly got away. I got him. This is actually good fun. <laughs> oh I'm loving it. Beautiful day for it. It's supposed to be raining today. It's bloody beautiful. I don't care about the weed, I'll I'll get a pippy. Not a bad haul of pippies, that. Oh, look, right here. <laughs> Too slow, buddy. Oh, it's only a small thing. Oh, no. Yeah, it just seems to be right where that the deeper section of the gutter is. Um, I'll have to mark that point, actually, because I'm going to come back there and fish. Uh, you don't really see... Uh, at high tide where the deep spots are and that's a nice deep hole there all right that's it for the pippy train i get off here all right i'll just do a quick total let's rest that there for the moment all right we've got one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen pippies. That's a nice little bag of bait. Alright, that's gonna do me guys. A few marsh flies around. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll come back um, when the weed clears, I guess.
Well, sometimes you just got to know when to call it, guys. But um, the weather's looking crap for at least a week. So I'm not going to go down there four or five times in this video. So um, I called it. I was happy to have that little session uh, foraging for the pippies. Um, they're going to make some good bait. I'm going to wait for the right conditions when it's nice and calm. And I'm going to go down there and I'm going to fish just with light gear in the channel there. Uh, who knows? How good would it be to get some whiting down there? Uh, I've certainly never done it. I have heard uh, blokes getting whiting down there occasionally, so we'll give that a crack one day. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to cook up some flake. I've got a new beer batter recipe, so we're going to check that out. So uh, here we go. I'm going to start the batter. Uh, I've just got some plain flour here, and. Uh, and I've also got some rice flour. Apparently you do one third rice flour. So uh, let's give that a crack. So what I'm gonna do is half a cup. It's only for me, this is just the lunchtime special actually. So uh, we're just gonna do half a cup of plain flour. Work that in there. About a third of that with uh, corn flour. So I've got a quarter of a cup measure, so obviously I don't need that full. Yeah, it's going to be roughly a third. This are up. Now, just to get a, a nice colour, somebody gave me a tip and put some yellow food dye in there. Well, I don't have any, so gave me an idea. I've just got some turmeric powder and I'm just going to put ah, this stuff really colours up so you know I'm thinking even just like a quarter of a teaspoon in there is going to really uh, colour that up. Give that a mix up. And also some baking powder. We add a teaspoon of baking powder apparently. And a nice cold beer. It's got to be cold. Now they say don't whisk it too much. One to two minutes, that's it. So just make sure it's nicely mixed. And that's it, leave it alone. There we go. Got some broccolini here. I've been wanting to batter and deep fry these, so we'll see how they go. I'm also char grilling just some sweet potato. Got some zucchini. Pretty flash lunch. <laughs> All right, here's a nice piece of flake. Pat it dry. And once again, I'm just going to cut it into fingers. It's only a small pot, so I'm only going to do three at a time here. Two. I might just do two at a time. A little bit of cubey. Oh, that's not a bad looking lunch, is it? Cheers, guys. Yeah. All right, that works. Let's check out this new batter. She's definitely crispy. Probably the crunchiest batter I've made. 
Oh, that's so good. Whoa. That's great. Oh, got a bit of the Kewpie mayo. That's a river lunch. Broccolini. Mm. It's not bad. I forgot to put salt on them though. Mmm, that's better. Well, not much of an episode really. I did have fun getting those pippies though. They're gonna make some good baits. Tell you what, I'll probably go down there and uh, now that I know when to get them, um, if I got like double that amount, I'd purge them, bring up some fresh seawater, purge them for a while. I'd even cook them up. I've seen them in, uh, in a few pasta dishes and they, they look really good. So I reckon I might try that down the track a bit. So anyway, no fish caught. Nice fish to cook up though. Um, thanks for watching this one, guys. Um, let's hope the weather clears up soon and we can get some real fishing done. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>